Tonight, Greenfield calling off their state of emergency after DPW crews cleaned up some of the damage from Monday night's storm. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle joins us live in studio now after speaking with a family who had a front row seat to yesterday's flooding. Glenn. Yeah, Chris, there are still road closures in Greenfield. However, by all indications, the city is taking steps forward to clean up the damages. Greenfield lifting their state of emergency on Tuesday after widespread flooding across Western Mass dealt a heavy blow to the city. A statement from the mayor's office reads, quote, The city of Greenfield's state of emergency concluded at 12 a.m. on Tuesday, December 19th. The city is grateful to its first responders staff from police, fire, and the DPW for maintaining public safety despite local flooding caused by severe rainstorms. During Monday's high floodwaters, Riverside Drive, water from the nearby Green River crept their way into folks' backyards. Carmen Garcia and her grandkids, Aaliyah and Kendrick, described the scenes from just outside their apartment, where heavy rain caused a massive puddle in their yard. It was really bad. In the backyard, um, the kids were coming out of school, and I saw all that uh, flood in the backyard. A humongous puddle that would never go outside if I was so bad. Aaliyah Garcia shares with Western Mass News what she saw on the bus ride home. I saw on the Mohawk Trail that, there, that the river was kind of high and it was running very fast. During Monday's flooding, a sewer overflow is now raising a health risk for those who come into contact with nearby bodies of water. The city releasing a statement saying in part, quote, avoid contact with these water bodies due to increased health risks from bacteria and other pollutants. Community members are asked to avoid all contact with the Green River, Deerfield River, and Connecticut River until Wednesday, December 20th at 8.15 p.m. Greenfield police earlier this morning also announced on Tuesday morning that N Nash's Mill Road will be closed until it can be cleaned and Coleraine Street is closed until a bridge inspection can happen. Reporting live in the studio, Glenn Kittle for Western Mass News.